Guys, I want to know your uh, favourite footy memory of your old man here at the club. Yeah, there's, uh, there's one that stands out for me. It would have to be when he kicked his 100th goal. And I can remember everyone was, uh, was trying to get out in the field. And um, I don't know how old I was at the time, but I remember my brother and I, we jumped the fence. I reckon we were, we were about the thousandth people to jump the fence. And uh, I can still remember trying to get out to my, to my dad. And you know, we would have been maybe 20, 30 metres away from him, obviously yeah. because he was surrounded by people. But we were yelling out, Dad, Dad. Um, at the time, we thought that uh, he'd heard us and, and given us a wave. But that was a pretty special moment to be out in the ground, you know, celebrating something like that with my dad. Obviously, you know, it's not easy to do. There's not too many players that do it these days, kick 100 goals in a season. So it was, uh, it was pretty, pretty special with both Nathan and I. What about, uh, what about yours? Ah, uh, gee, well, don't have any like that. It's pretty hard to beat. Dad didn't kick 100, so... Well, I, don't know, I don't even know if he did, actually. But no, <laughs> no memories just ask him. I'm sure he did. But, <laughs> no, I think probably just as far back as I can remember, coming into the club and just having a kick with him, walking yeah. around and just thinking it was the coolest thing ever to be in the footy club and, you know, watching all these guys go about it. And just, yeah, something as simple as kicking the footy with him mm -hmm. sort of just sparked that dream to become a player one day. And yeah, that's something I've held pretty closely sort of all throughout my footy career. Yeah. Now, guys, did you ever get into trouble while you were in the rooms as a kid in the club room? I was always pretty good, um, but Nathan, on the other hand. Um, <laughs> no, look, there, there was two times that I can remember in particular that... Um, we did get ourselves in a bit of trouble. One of them was, uh, as, you, as you walked into the rooms, um, there, was, uh, there was always a box of chewies there at the door. So as the players walked in, they could obviously grab some. And uh, Nathan and I got in there quite early one day and um, decided to grab about 20 to 30 bits of gum ourselves. And, um, and, and they ran out of chewy. So when the players uh, turned up, uh, there was actually none in the box. And they, they were going around asking the question, you know, Where, where's the chewy? Um, should be there. And, uh, and I think my, my dad got in a bit of trouble. He, uh, they spotted us in the, in the warm up area uh, with about 20, 30 bits of chewy in our mouth each. And uh, so that was one time that I remember. The other one was, um, I think Geelong had had a really bad loss um, and Malcolm Blight had, uh, had called a meeting that afternoon and, and dad had brought us into training and we were running around, you know, kicking the footy, man. do what we do. He was man. a pretty scary man. Oh, yeah. And um, anyway, got to the normal time that dad would finish training and we're looking around for him in the change rooms, couldn't find him anywhere. And uh, we got told him he's, that, that he was in the meeting room. And obviously yeah. as a young kid, you don't think about it too much. Yeah. So we've, uh, we've knocked on the door and, and put our head in and we're looking for dad and, and we've yelled out, dad, when are we going home? And at the time, it was a, it was a pretty serious meeting. I think, um, I think Malcolm had lined up a few players and um, it lightened the room up a little bit. I think they all had a laugh and, and uh, dad was able to get out there 30 minutes later. But uh, I think Malcolm said after that, from now on, Gaz, when we've got serious meetings like this, the boys don't come to the football yeah. club. <laughs> <laughs> How did you uh, handle school with having a, a famous dad? Um, I guess at the time, I didn't really think too much of it. You can probably relate. It's something you don't really think about growing up. You know, you just know them as your dad, so you don't know any different. But yeah, certainly there'd be a few times where it'd be a bit strange. Teachers on the roll, roll call, you know, read out the last name and they'd ask, oh, are you related to Billy? And sometimes I'd try and throw them and say, oh, you know, he's my uncle or something, um, to avoid a few questions. But he used to come to school and, you know, would have a kick after school and play markers up. And a lot of my mates love that, just having a kick with him. So. Um, yeah, it never really affected me too much and it was just always a bit of fun, really. Yep. I think this is a pretty spicy question. I'm sure a lot of people would like to know, but how do you reckon you'd go playing one-on-one -on -one with your dad? You, you in your prime and he in his prime. Wow, okay. Um, <clears throat> very different players. Uh, dad was a bit stronger than, than I am, a bit taller. Um, obviously, I played most of my career as a, as a midfielder and, and dad, dad down forward. But to give you an answer, <laughs> I think if we were one on one, I'd be in a bit of trouble. Yeah. <laughs> um, but one of my dad's weaknesses was his uh, aerobic capacity. So I would try and run him around and tire him out and yeah, uh, yeah. hopefully I'd be able to find the ball that way. Yeah, what, about, good, what about you on Bill? No, I'd be very similar. I think uh, it wouldn't take much to beat him in the running game. So. As long as, I just, as long as I just kept moving at a pretty slow speed, I reckon I could get away from him. <laughs> um, if I just moved out of the goal square, I'd find a bit of space. So, look, he was probably a bit taller, a bit stronger as well. But I think if the modern game now, when it's a bit more open, I think he would have struggled with that. Um, yeah, and if I, just, I found out, if I found out that he was playing the decoy role early, which he often did with your dad, uh, I think I'd Sag off him a little bit. Sag yeah. off him, run off a bit, get in a bit of time yeah, and space. Yeah. So, but no, you, you wouldn't want to drop back into my dad's space though. He's, yeah, uh, I know, I'd be pretty scared of doing that. Uh, but no, it'd be a bit of fun. Yeah, absolutely.